Okay, the rest of this unit, we're going to talk about other polygons. We've talked a lot about triangles in the last few units. Okay, that's a three-sided polygon. We've been talking about quadrilaterals in earlier this unit. That's a four-sided polygon. Okay, but you have all this other vocabulary. There are terms that can describe any polygon. So poly is the generic term that means many sides. Okay, so sides mean they have to be straight. So like this is a polygon, this is a polygon. Um, I have a bunch of other polygons here and here, okay? So um, one of the things I might have to do is deal with interior angle sums, okay? So what is an interior angle? Those are the ones that are inside, okay? What is a sum? A sum is a total, so when I add them. So um, this formula that you see at the top of this page here, sum of interior angles of a polygon with insides. This formula is going to be really important for problem solving. It is not on the formula sheet, so you need to memorize it. Okay. So um, what I want to make sure is very clear here, it says with inside. So what does in mean? In represents the number of sides in your polygon. Okay, and you're going to know that either by looking at a picture like this one or looking at a vocabulary word like this one. And again, I've got some of them up at the top here. You know, you can look it up if you don't know what it is, but when you see G-O-N at the end, you know that they're talking, they're trying to tell you um, how many sides it has. Okay, so let's look at um, some of these types of problems that we might see. So I'm going to do a couple examples here. Number one, all right, so obviously directions in particular when there's no picture are going to be really important. So what is this asking me? What is the sum of the interior angles of the pentagon? So um, either highlight or underline words that might stand out as something you need to do. This vocab word seems like that's probably important. Interior seems relevant. Um, you'll see later that there's different things that can ask for. You can find the sum or you can just find one or you could find an exterior angle. This is interior and this is sum, meaning I'm just going to find the total. So you're going to hear me when I say what kind of angles, interior, you might hear me go, what interior angles? Because I'm trying to tell you that I in, in interior sounds exactly the same as it's saying this word right here, in, or this letter I mean. So interior, in so the interior angle sum is that formula that has the N in it. So if you hear me obnoxiously saying that, that's what I'm trying to remind you. Use that formula with the N. So I'm looking at this and I'm problem solving. I'm like, oh yeah, the interior angles. And I'm starting there, okay? And then the next question I'm going to ask myself is, well, what's N? So N, again, stands for number of sides. I have this vocab word here that tells me that it's going to be 5. Okay, my number of sides is 5, which means my n is 5. Okay, so now I'm going to substitute and I'm going to find my interior angle sum. Okay, so I'm not messing with the order of operations right now. I'm literally just going to type what I see. The calculator can handle all that thinking for me right now and I get 540. So then I want to ask myself, did I answer the question? What's the question asking me? What did I find? What does this formula find? It says, what's the sum of the interior angles? This formula finds the sum of the interior angles. Okay, so I have found my answer. All right, so let's look at a different one. Um, let's try number four. Okay, so this is a very different problem. It's asking me to find x. I'm probably interested in an equation. I know I'm interested in an equation, actually, because I really can't problem solve too much with this without an equation. So I start looking. What information have they given me? This time they gave me a picture is how they gave me my information. I see that I have information at all four angles. For those of you that tend to leave this one out, I recommend putting a number there. That little box means 90. Okay, so if I have all these interior angles, hopefully my brain does that. So now I'm wondering what is in? 
what is it? What is in, oh, number of sides, that's right. Okay, so how many sides do I have? All right, we'll count them. Okay. Just looking for another color here. I have one, two, three, four sides. So my in is going to be four. Okay, so plug it in, and I'm going to find out what my interior angle sum is. If this were a triangle, I'd be adding them all up to equal 180, but it's not a triangle. Okay, so every time I add a side, there's another 180. So I go and I plug in here. I find my sum. I put that all in my calculator, and I get 360. Okay, so quadrilaterals have a sum of 360. So the interior angle sum, okay, how is that helpful? Well, I'm going to do just what that says. This is my sum of the interior angles. Sum means plus. So I'm going to take all these angles. 84 plus 25x plus 1 plus 110 plus 90. And what does it get? What do I get when I add those together? I'm going to get 360. Okay, so now I'm going to go and do my algebra. Everything here on the left can be, all my like terms can be put together. So I only have 25x, that's my only x term, and then I'm going to combine all my like terms here. 84, 1, 110, 90, 285. And now I'm going to subtract 285 from both sides. So 360 minus 285, 25x equals 75. And the opposite of multiplication is division. Okay. Now, that is what they're asking for. I mean, technically I'm done, but as always, you know, it makes me happy when you check. You know, there's no reason to be wrong if you can check it. So 25 times, now I know x is 3, so 25 times 3 plus 1 makes this angle 76. And now I have the numbers at all four angles, so I can make sure that those add up. 76 plus 110 plus 84, plus 90, that those in fact add up to 360, which they do. So I know my solution for x is right. Okay, so let's look at another one. Oh. Okay, so polycon has an interior angle sum of 720. So what makes this one a little challenging is that now I know the total, but I don't know how many sides. And when I'm looking at interior angles, that formula requires the number of sides. So um, I can just use an equation, actually. Actually, that is how I'm going to do this one. A polygon has an interior angle sum to 720. So interior angle, I wrote this down. I started to get nervous there because I'm like, oh, how am I going to do that? I don't know in. Well, this is pretty simple to do with an equation. So if my interior angle sum is 720, it is the sum to equal 720. That's my equation that I can solve. So this turns out to be actually pretty easy. Okay, so this, again, that is the interior angle sum formula. So if they're telling me my interior angle sum is 720, that's what it's going to be equal to. And now what I can do is just work backwards algebraically. So this is distributing. I have 180 in minus 360. You actually can start by dividing both sides by 180 if, if you understand why you can do that. That's a good way to do it too. Most students are more comfortable simplifying first, doing the distributive property. So I'm going to subtract 360 from both. I'm sorry, I'm not going to subtract it. I'm going to add 360 to both sides. So, so I have 180 times n equals 
1080, and now I'm going to divide both sides by 180. And I get in is 6. Okay, and if I'm unsure, I can always go back and check that. Interangle sum is my number of sides 6. 6 minus 2, whoops, times 180. Oh, yep, 720. So I did that right. Okay? All right, try the rest of the problems on page 8.